Is in the hands of the maker of it. 
presence here. Have your hand upon us, Lord. Right now we're going to transition into a time of singing intercession through the word of God. We'll be reading from Ephesians 1, 17 to 21. So if you have your Bibles, you can open up. We'll be actually interceding for Korea. So this is a little bit different than some of you might be used to. Feel free to open your Bible and read along. This is a time for you to take authority in Jesus Christ and to cry out for this nation. Ephesians 1, verse 17. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Lord, you are the source of all wisdom and revelation. There is no other one who is as wise as you are. Even man's greatest wisdom is nothing more than a mere morsel compared to your wisdom. None compares to you, God. You carry wisdom that holds the universe in its place. We know that we cannot live in freedom and walk out our purpose unless we have a download of your wisdom and revelation. This is true for us, and this is also true for the nation of Korea. So in this hour, this nation, we cry out on behalf of them for wisdom. Open up the heavens, Lord, and pour out divine wisdom. Peel back all pride from the hearts of man and usher in a wave of your glorious presence that fills men's hearts and minds with true wisdom and love. Pour out a fresh wave of wisdom on the leaders in government and the entertainment mountain. We declare that you are sharpening the minds and hearts of those who lead this country in politics, in law, and in influence. Break off all foolishness and replace it with the eternal wisdom that will reign this nation in all righteousness and justice. Give the Korean people a deeper revelation of who you are, the glorious Father. Open their hearts to you, Father. Let the wisdom of the Lord overtake this land and the people in it. Let the wisdom of the Lord cause men and women, young and old, to understand the fear of the Lord and to walk in the ways of the Lord, drawing them into the heart of God. Deepen the intimacy of your people in Korea, Lord. Cause their hearts to be filled with your wisdom and a greater revelation of who you are and who they are in you. Let them know that you are the glorious Father.
riches of glory if we only believe and tonight we stand before you and we say we believe we believe and Lord we believe on behalf of the Korean people we stand in the gap decreeing and declaring that the Korean people are going to be enlightened to who they truly are in you give the Korean people visions dreams and encounters of you awaken their spirits to you quicken their spirits that they may surf on a tsunami wave of what is what you are doing in Asia in this hour we declare that you are opening up their hearts their minds that they may know you the Lord Jesus Christ that they may know you you have called Korean men and women to your great purposes you have called them to a glorious inheritance you have specific purposes for each individual awaken their spirits and souls to who they are and what you have given them already yes Lord open their eyes right now they are being opened their hearts are being filled with divine revelation from who for, from you right now God the Holy Spirit sweep across sweep across and open
Let there be another revival, oh God. Bring a great revival that will wash away all futility and apathy. Send your spirit to revive the hearts of the Korean people. Let them awaken to the thunders of your power. Let them arise and take their place as sons and daughters who carry the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Give them a revelation of your power, Lord. Let them walk in fear and trembling as they carry your presence and manifest your power.
above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. Jesus, we know that you are far above all rule and authority. You are above all other powers and dominions. You are above every name that exists and is to come. You are Lord of lords and King of kings. We worship you, God. We worship and honor you tonight, Jesus. From this place of revelation, we stand in the gap for the Korean people, and we declare that they will taste and see your goodness. We declare that they will be awakened to your holiness and authority. Let them lay everything down for you, Jesus. We declare that you are bringing a new reverence and fear of the Lord among the Korean people that is going to bring a cleansing fire to the church and purify the hearts of men and women, young and old. We prophesy that a new day is coming to the Korean church where corruption and striving will no longer permeate the hearts and souls of men and women, but a joy in your presence will surpass anything else that they once found important. Being in your presence will be a priority and walking in righteousness and holiness will be the mark of the Korean church. Yes, Lord, give the Korean church a deeper revelation of your power and authority. Let them fall to their knees in adoration and humility. Let your fire cleanse the church. Let your presence renew their minds and hearts. Yes, Lord, have your will, God.
those who have been set apart to love you, God.
specifically will be praying um, against suicide and for life over this nation. Lord, thank you for giving us life and making us in your image. You have created us to have life and to have it to the full. You did not create us to live in depression and to walk around as if we were dead. You are the one who designed life and declared it was good. Lord, we have seen the self-destruction in this nation, and we are deeply, deeply grieved. We know that you are the only one who can give true life and freedom. We praise you for dropping the suicide rates, and we beckon you tonight and declare your heart over this nation that you desire all suicide to be gone. We pray down all strongholds of depression and release your supernatural joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. We declare the blood of Jesus washing over the people in this land. Your death was enough. You died in, play, in their place, and now we have freedom and joy. We release this freedom to the Korean people. Restore the joy of their salvation. Awaken their souls and their spirits to the freedom that has already been bought for them. We declare that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Let your spirit reign in this land, Lord Jesus. We prophesy that the hearts will not be heavy, but that the Koreans will be filled with an endless joy that bubbles up from within them and overflows into all areas of their lives. We speak out peace over the Korean people. The way that a fresh, let the way, let a fresh snow hush over this land, God, that calms the city. Allow your peace to be like that snow, like a blanket for the Korean people, quieting and restoring their souls. Let your peace come over these people, and we bring down depression in the name of Jesus.
hope, and the Korean people are meant to be a people of hope. Tonight we are coming together to declare an end to this hopelessness that engulfs and suffocates many Koreans. We declare that hope is rising up in Korea. Not any kind of hope, but hope in Jesus Christ. Allow Koreans to be filled with your unending hope. We declare your, your word that you care for them and you have a purpose and a plan for their lives. You have not forgotten them. You desire the best for them and you are making a way for them. You are leading the Korean people. Lord, we come against the cultural strongholds and the Confucian mindsets that have caused Koreans to commit suicide in the name of restoring honor to their family. We tear down that mindset in the name of Jesus and we replace it with the truth that Koreans are loved and cherished by you, that you have already died for them and their death will not bring any honor. Their life is priceless and you have died so that they may live. Let your word transform their mindsets. We especially target the youth who are falling away from the church. We declare that the word of God will reach them in some form and fashion. Send messengers to deliver the truth and the word of God. They are accepted and valued. They are worthy and wanted. They are the apple of your eye. They are not alone or forgotten. They are not isolated. They are not misunderstood. They are your chosen ones. Lord, we declare that they would know that you are with them. Let them have a revelation of your love and presence. God, we come against all lying and deceiving spirits. We silence them in the name of Jesus. And we declare your truth that every knee must bow before you, including the demons. Let the Korean people bow before you tonight and set them free.
us from our own destruction and from the destruction of the enemy. We know that you have the power to intervene and stop death. We call upon your power and authority tonight and ask that you send forth your angels as well as people to stop men and women alike from committing suicide. You have perfect timing, Lord. Send people at just the right time, God, to stop someone from jumping out of a window or off of a bridge. Lord, we pray that these strongholds of depression and suicide will not be hidden. We declare that they are being exposed and bound. Lord, we disallow this trespass of the enemy. We disallow the enemy to lead so many to destruction. This is unacceptable. <coughs> Lord, we pray that the Korean culture will no longer ignore this issue of suicide, but that they will promote awareness campaigns and outreach, put suicide prevention hotlines in place, and proper mental health care. We tear down the stigmas that cause doctors to shame those who struggle with suicide and ignore the problem. We declare that families will learn how to provide emotional support for their children. Lord, let Koreans rise above their own culture and carry a kingdom culture. We disallow cultural mindsets to continue that ignore suicide. Send help to those who are struggling. Send help, God. Send help. Send help. Send help, God. We declare divine intervention even right now, God. No more death. God, we declare life. Life and life to the full.
intercession on behalf of the Korean people who have continued to live under the influence of the demonic stronghold of suicide waging war in this nation. We stand here tonight and we declare that we will no longer allow Satan to steal, kill, and destroy the Korean people. We disallow a spirit of suicide to pursue and destroy the lives of precious people. We disallow these spirits of death to prey on vulnerable people. Do, we do not tolerate it any longer. We bind up and we tear down these strongholds of suicide in this nation. Lord, take your mighty hand and shake the strongholds, rip them down, shatter the plans of the enemy. We declare that they must loosen their grip off of this land and people right now. Loosen your grip. Lord, send your angels to war on behalf of this people. Yes. We prophesy that the people will no longer be yoked to depression and futility, but that they will be yoked to the joy, love, and hope of the Lord. We declare that the praises and petitions of your people are tearing down the strongholds of suicide in this nation. Just like when your people shouted and the walls of Jericho fell, the walls of the enemy are coming down. We renounce all hopelessness and declare your hope over them. Lord, we expose all strongholds of suicide and depression and loneliness and we break them off with the praises of your people. We tear them down by the sword of the spirit and by the blood of Jesus. We surround these evil strongholds with the hope of Jesus Christ and declare that Koreans will cling to you, Jesus, that you are their stronghold, that you are their stronghold. Salvation spring up in Korea. Holy Spirit, release a new grace over Korea. Mark this land with your life. We prophesy that Korea will no longer rank high for suicide, but we declare a day is coming where Koreans will be known as a people that carry an abundance of joy. We prophesy that Korea will no longer be bound in chains of depression, but that this nation will wear robes of righteousness and have a mantle of joy. Release your joy and salvation over this nation. We prophesy it, Lord. We declare it. We decree it. It is yours, Lord.
Jesus, you are holy. Let this nation tremble before you. Let the demons tremble before you. God, we thank you that your word does not return void, that your words do not fall to the ground, that our words do not fall to the ground, that they are precious to your to you, God. Thank you that you are sending forth angels, that you're sending forth messengers and people and help, God, that you, God, are destroying the strongholds in this nation. And so, Lord, we continue to lift up praises. We continue to shout out your name and declare that you are holy and you are the only true God. And your power and authority will bring down the walls, and they already are bringing them down. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you that the veil was torn and that we can enter the Holy of Holies, that we stand in a place of of government, Lord, that we take the gavel and we say no more. We decree and declare a new govern, a new government in this place, God. It will not be ruled by demonic strongholds, but that the righteousness and the justice of the Lord Almighty will reign in this place. It's a new day. Thank you, Lord. New wine be poured out tonight, God. New wine skin. Thank you, Jesus.
are really struggling and contemplating suicide, Lord, we trust that you have saved many lives tonight, Lord. You have turned many hearts, God. You have uh, reconciled many uh, family members together, God. And we thank you, Lord, that you are, con- you are going to continue to do the work of restoration in this nation, God, so that it will be ready for the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit is coming, God, and we are um, just experiencing and tasting little bits and pieces of it, God, and Lord, we are we are just eager and expectant of the day that you're going to pour out, Father, a season of just prosperity, a season of refreshing, um, yeah, we just thank you, Father, for the work of renewal that you're going to do in this nation, Lord, and we expect as uh, Diane sent out the prayer topics um, it was like really life and death you know matter to the Lord as we pray for this so continue to keep this in your prayer throughout the week Uh, we believe that God really wants to eliminate the spirit of suicide in this nation so continue to pray and uh, yeah thank you for coming out and tune in to um, our Ustream as well as uh, YouTube channel We'll be posting it up on our Facebook. Yeah. And spread the word. Thank you. Good night. Can I have Tuesday K1 team gathered in the front right away? Thank you. And um, yeah, K1 Tuesday team. Yeah, I think they're having like a.